You are now going to create a second digital asset that has the capture rig nested inside it. This new asset will be the one that can be animated to create the final motion of the character. This new asset will contain all of the rigging tools such as inverse kinematics and aim constraints that assist with animation. In order to test these controls as you add them, you will set up a test version of the rig that is locked and visible in a second scene pane view. Okay, so let's select the three nodes that we have here. And again, we're going to go to the asset menu, new asset from selection. Now in this case, we're gonna call it uh, fur dude, oh, dude anim rig. And we're gonna go and put this dollar hip HDA right into the same asset that we put the other one in. And the reason for this is that will make it more portable because we can, can pass around both parts at the same time uh, instead of having to manage two different files. And so we press accept. And once we get to here, we don't need to do anything with this yet. We'll come back to this later. We're gonna save this and we're gonna change this to Anamarig. Now go to the object level. Uh, what we have is we have this new uh, fur dude thing here. We can just call that fur dude rig. And what we wanna do is we wanna create another version of it. So we're gonna go alt and drag to create a new version. And we're gonna call this test rig. And we're gonna double click to go into it. Now in this case, we're gonna go up to here and go asset, lock asset, for dude animation rig. Um, just save changes. So this one has a locked version of the asset. So if you go into here, you'll see it's locked. Whereas up at this level, this one has another version that's not. And we're gonna use both of these um, to work. So we're gonna go like this and make them both non-visible. So now we want to be able to look at both characters at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this scene view pane and we're going to go split left right. This will create another scene view here. Now we want this one that's all by itself uh, over on that side. So we're going to click, go right in the middle there and flip those. And then we're going to dive into the test rig so we can see that. And once we have that visible here, we're going to pin that. So this will not change. Then we can go back up to this level, go into the fur dude rig, which is the editable one that we've been working on, and that one is going to be here. So we'll be able to work here and at any point test what we're doing and see how it affects the locked rig over here. The locked rig being sort of the equivalent of what an animator would touch because when you build a digital asset of a character in Houdini, you want that locked asset to be handed off and the animator to work with only those things that you've promoted to them. So if we were to go into here and we were to go to this part here and just let's say clear this to, to make that clean. Now you notice that doesn't update automatically because the new situation hasn't been stored back into uh, the file. So what we have to do is we have to go asset, um, save asset for dude animation rig, and now what was in this version um, is stored on disk in the file, and that's picked up automatically here um, by the digital asset there. Now, what we're not seeing is we're not seeing these points on there, and the reason for that is uh, we need to make some changes to the asset. So we're going to go asset edit properties for dude animation rig and if we click on the node tab we're going to add in an expression right here so we're going to put in kin of x two underscores rig pose and press accept now that doesn't now it doesn't accept to saves it but it hasn't changed anything yet we have to click on the handle tool and now you'll see all the joints from here showing up here and if we click on them um, they don't do anything and the reason for that is that this version of the asset has no parameters promoted So if I can't edit the parameters um, Then clicking and manipulating the, the um, 
joints themselves wouldn't work. But we'll, we'll be adding that in as we move forward uh, to make this a workable asset for an animator.